Hello, this is Oscar November 7, Oscar Fox Fox, and this is the third video of the series from Zero to Hero with the Hermes Light. Um, this video actually is a third video. Um, the second video, I did not make a separate video, but there is a video and I'll make a link or I'll give you the link and the description of this video where you can see how I assemble the Hermes light so you can use that one as a second video of the series from zero to hero today I'm going to talk about how you prepare your computer before actually having your Hermes light um, so it will run the Hermes light in and the TT software in a smooth way there's a couple of tweaks that needs to be done in your Windows computer and all the tweaks that I will describe here uh, are necessary to make the TT so software run smoothly with the Hermes light. The first thing uh, I advise you to do is actually disable the throttling on your network card or Wi-Fi uh, wi network. Sorry. So um, there, by default, a Windows PC, especially Windows uh, laptops. Uh, will actually have some kind of a throttling that is enabled uh, by default to save battery power on a uh, laptop. But the throttling means that the network Wi-Fi or the network uh, UTP plug will go in some kind of a sleep state for a couple of milliseconds and it will um, wake up again. But these milliseconds, um, you will start to get dropped frames uh, you will hear scratches when you're listening to your Hermes light radio. So basically you can do that from the uh, TT software, but I'm going to do it manually because then you will have a better understanding on what's going on. So let me open my browser here. And uh, when I open my browser and I go and search for network uh, throttling Um, reg edit, yeah, that's good. Uh, how to disable network throttling? Reg edit, there you go. Um, here you can actually find the first result, and um, this is a, 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 a new configured computer. It's it's a brand new computer with no other software on there. Actually, it's an old computer with a new Windows. Um, if you go down the page at a certain moment, you will get this information here and uh, it will ask you to open your registry so let me just go to reg edit and uh, open the registry there you go and uh, from here on you need to go to and let me just show it to you you need to go to um, h key local machine then go to software then go to microsoft then you need to go to Windows NT. <coughs> there you go. And then the next uh, subfolder is a current version. Then you need to go to multimedia. And here is multimedia. And then you need to go to system profile. When you go and click on system profile, you will see something like uh, network throttling index. And this actually will uh, make the issue so you have to double click it and you need to put four F's so sorry eight eight times Foxtrot the one two three four five six seven eight so I have eight times the Foxtrot here and uh, this will eventually uh, do the trick and the next step is to restart your computer now I'm not going to do it with this computer for the sake of this video uh, the next thing that needs to be prepared is go uh, over the different um, the different uh, windows uh, let me just put this one aside the different uh, audio devices okay because actually Titus is going to use a specific frequency I don't know how many Hertz normally it's 48,000 Hertz and if you have a mismatch between your um, speaker and microphone um, frequency and the TT software you might bump into problems and uh, when you start to select this microphone with this speaker but there is a mismatch of uh, the frequency then you might have a problem so how do you rectify this issue 
I'm going right here at the bottom of the box and I'm going to go to um, click right click on the, the speaker here sound settings now I'm using Windows 11 um, and then I'm going to go to more sound settings and you will get this pop-up menu so this little window here this is where you need to configure everything and I recommend you to go over the different playback and recording devices that's what I'm doing right now and double clicking go to the advanced tab and just make sure that you got 48,000 Hertz selected for every single audio device and playback device and recording device so I'm going to go to Dell I'm going to advanced again here I see it's 48,000 that's good then I need to go to the speakers go to advanced 48,000 seems to be okay I'm giving you this because I've had an issue and I've struggled with it for months before I actually figured out what was going on so here I got 48,000 that's correct and then here in advanced 48,000 is already enabled uh, here I cannot put any configuration and then the microphone here advanced 48,000 so that's it uh, once you have done these two things you're ready to go and install Thetis. Now, where do you get Thetis? And you need to use the Thetis version specifically for the um, Windows, um, sorry, for the Hermes Lite. So the easiest and best way is to subscribe to the Google uh, Groups of uh, Hermes Lite. So let me just go to Groups and then you will see uh, these are my groups here I got Hermes light right here and when you scroll through the different uh, subjects uh, at a certain stage you will see some mail uh, some message coming from SCUMBALL blah 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 and here it says fifth beta version so I got the fifth beta version I'm going to download it so you get the download link over here and here I'm going to download the zip file and obviously it's downloading it and I'm going to open the zip file okay and this is what's in the zip file so basically uh, it has released and it's a, a folder so I'm going to copy it and now I'm going back to my hard drive and I'm going to program files I'm going to create a new subfolder and I'm going to call it open SDR you will understand why I give this name in a second uh, okay um, I think it's open HD SDR I'm not sure but anyway it's, it's not a big problem or you, I can even give it the name Thetis now let me see the version again uh, let me just call it Thetis and I'll do version 2.10.3.5 beta 5 so you can give whatever name you want to give and then click on OK I go into the folder and I'm going to paste what was in that zip file and it's going to eventually copy everything and from there on I can go let me just go and close this window here go to release and scroll all the way down and there you will see the Thetis now I'm going to make a, um, a link uh, on my desktop so I'm holding down the control and the shift key while I'm taking the Thetis.exe and uh, this will I'm just gonna rename it uh, the, this so version 2.10.3.4 B5 beta 5 okay so this is it from here on I uh, just have to start uh, the uh, uh, Thetis software now one thing that will happen when you for the first time start the Thetis software it's going to do some calculations it is called the fast Fourier transform it's actually a mathematical uh, algorithm 
used to analyze signals and uh, it's going to have different sizes of these signals that can be uh, analyzed and it's going to scroll through all these different sizes and it's going to do calculations and see which of the size will have the best efficiency for your laptop and you need to th go through this configuration for the first time so I'm just starting it up right now and as you can see it says optimizing FFT sizes so basically what it's doing is when the first time uh, you install Thetis you'll uh, see that box here optimizing FFT sizes and this means Thetis is um, uh, testing different FFT sizes to find the best one for your computer and um, it checks how quickly and efficiently uh, every single size it can handle it and it's going to make a selection of the one that it can handle the best. This might take a while depending on the processing power of your computer. So if you are using a slow computer it might be very slow, be aware of that. But if you have a fast computer it might just go a little bit faster. But I reckon that some, certain people they have to wait uh, up to maybe 20 minutes or 30 minutes before it goes through the different sizes that are available and uh, by the end you've done uh, you will see what will happen let me speed up the video for you okay now that we're done uh, it should be okay and uh, we should have now the software uh, will have selected the right size so this ensures the software will run smoothly and giving us a clear and responsive uh, spectrum displays on our uh, TT software and also on the waterfall plots so the next thing you can do is just click this one away and uh, you can even close this and it will automatically stop uh, start Thetis. If the Thetis is not starting up man, uh, automatically, you just double click it and it will start up. Now, the um, Thetis does look awful uh, with this screen here. So uh, the first thing I recommend you is going into the setup and I will just add a skin to it. So I go to appearance and uh, I will go to the right here on the skin servers and I'm going to uh, download it right here and then I will apply it and I will also add a new skin I am going to use the whiskey one alpha echo x-ray uh, do a refresh and I like the world green it's a personal preference or the world blue whatever and then I just click on download here and apply and uh, you're good to go. So you have your uh, TT software uh, that has a nice skin and uh, you can continue to work from there. I'll keep the video short so I'll make another video regarding the initial setup of TT on your uh, computer and making it work with your Hermes Lite. Thank you for watching and 70 trees.